and welcome back to Rooted Studio. My name is Kayla and today we have a special guest. We have Mr. Muffins here. Can you say hello? We're gonna get him back in the frame here. Say so this is Muffins. He will be my co-host today. He will be kind of in the background or weaving in and out of our poses. But today's sequence is for all of our gardeners out there. So hence why I'm wearing my gardening overalls. For those of you that don't know, I am an avid gardener. I love the outdoors. So this practice is for all of you who are just like me, stooping over in the garden, picking weeds, and just overall being outside working hard. So tools you will need just as in gardening. For our practice today, we'll want our trusty kneeling pad a shovel or a rake, and our all-encompassing five-gallon bucket. So every gardener has one of these, so we will need one of these for our practice today. And so wherever you are today, taking a rest from that gardening, see if we can find a little shady spot outside or feel free to move our practice inside. Taking our comfortable stance, we'll begin to find our mountain pose. So palms are spread wide, feet are beneath those hips, the knees gently softened, and we'll just take a moment to breathe here. Feeling those shoulders begin to settle. And just letting that weight feel supported by that ground below us here. And whenever you have fully settled that body, we'll bring our hands to that heart center. I'll begin to open us up in prayer here, but please feel free to begin this practice as your choice decides. Thank you, God, for blessing us with this day and for blessing us with this time to fle or find flexibility in our bodies. Thank you for allowing us this time to find peace and rest and for allowing us just to keep our bodies healthy. Amen. And once again, feel free to pause this video to open in your time and pace. Or if you are ready to begin our first pose, we're gonna take our trusty shovel here, or our rake, and we're going to find our hands about shoulder width apart. So this next position can be a little tense on those shoulders, so feel free just to take it slow. What we're going to do, take that shovel down to the thighs, and with your next inhale, begin to lift those arms up and see if we can bring those arms behind the ears. You'll notice a gentle curving of that spine. We'll take two deep breaths here. And our exhale brings those arms forward. Feel that chin come down into our chest. And if you're ready, go ahead and take that round all the way down to the feet. Feeling that tension release from the spine. And if your arms are long like mine are and they already reach the ground, feel free to take hold of those elbows to give us a little extra room here just to relax the body. We'll take a couple more breaths here through the nose. Taking hold of that shovel once again. We'll inhale to round up slow. Taking those arms all the way back above. Feel that heart opening up. we'll exhale back to that neutral position. So we have one more pose with our shovel, taking those hands behind the back. Now this one can be very intense. So if we have shoulder injuries, we will avoid this next position. If you would like to try here, taking that shovel behind us, we find just a little lift here. For most of us, this is where we'll stay. Or if you're ready to go deeper, our exhale brings us into that forward fold. 
Arms come above the body, opening up. Take three slow breaths here. Exhale, bring those arms down by the back. Inhale, lift up slow. And so we are done with our shovel for now. We'll go ahead and place it off to the side. Let's see if I can put it in the ground there. Next, we'll want that kneeling pad. And we will step it in front of the body here with our inhale. Give those arms a big lift above. Our exhale takes us to a forward fold. Stepping that right foot back behind the body. We will take our trusty kneeling pad, bring it beneath that right knee and lower down. Here, we want to align that left knee over that heel, taking that deep lunge position. And so here, hands can either come down, we can bring it to the knee, or maybe lift it up to your preference here. We'll go for three breaths, opening up the lower back and those hips. Exhale, bring those hands down to the ground. Take a gentle press, lifting up that right knee. Exhale, stepping it forward. Inhale, lift those arms above. Exhale to fold. This time, left toes step back, taking that kneeling pad beneath that knee. We take our lower, aligning the knee over the heel. Palms at your choice of positions. Going for three breaths, feel that openness surrounding us. Exhale to fold. Give those toes a little tuck, lifting our knee. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to rise, palms to press. And we'll exhale back to our mountain pose. Last but not least, grabbing hold of our bucket here. We're gonna flip it upside down. Option if you want, placing that little uh, kneeling pad on top just for a little extra cushion. This time, we're gonna take a seat. And so if you're like me, your bucket probably has a crack in it, but make sure you're safe before you take that seat. We can find our knees either gently widened or taking those toes out at an angle. We find our wide stance. With our inhale, find those palms lifting up above. Exhale to fold. And so we may feel a little tension in those hips. So feel free to support or deepen if we're comfortable. Keeping those knees pressed out wide. We'll take three breaths through. And with our inhale, we rise above. Take that press. Exhale, lower to that right knee. Taking a deep side stretch here. Option to take that right palm down to the ground, really opening up that heart. Inhale to rise up tall. Exhale to that left side. Option to deepen, really press that heart above. Inhale tall. 
Press those palms together. Exhale through the heart. Give those feet a little step to the inside. And so here, we will open those palms, relaxing the body. Maybe closing those eyes. So as we rest here, just take a moment to be grateful for our bodies and the strength they contain within. And so whether you are a gardener or just someone who enjoys yoga, either way, you are more than welcome to use this practice as many times as you need. Holding those poses as long as your body is comfortable and just enjoy that openness that it provides allowing that breath to fill the lungs. We let that fresh air flow through. And bringing those hands into our heart, I'll begin to close us in prayer. But again, this is your time as well to end this practice as you deem fit. We thank you, God, for blessing us with this practice today and for allowing us again time to focus on our bodies and to keep ourselves healthy both physically, mentally, and spiritually. Amen. And so thank you for joining me for Yoga for Gardeners. I hope you really enjoy this practice. I enjoyed making it for you. So feel free to come back next week for another fun yoga practice. Let us know in the comments below what type of yoga that you want to see, and we might have some more fun ones to come up. So thank you again. I believe Muffins has left the building for now. But I was hoping he'd be here to tell you goodbye, but he is not. So I will see you next week, and I hope you have a great week ahead. See ya!